back. We're taking a look at today's beauty shot. Our Sky Eye 2 drone captured an aerial view of Fort Pitt Bridge downtown. Let us know where you like to go on our Talk Pittsburgh Facebook page. We'd love to get out there. Well, in just a couple of days, you can attend an exciting out of this world fundraiser at the Carnegie Science Center called the Geek Out Gala. Joining us now to talk about the event is the Science Center Senior Director of Museum Experiences. We have Marcus Harshaw here. So good to have you here. Thank you, Heather. It's great to be here. And you brought presents, which I'm all for. We have a crown to help us celebrate even more and a signature cocktail right in front of us. Yeah, so this is one of our <laughs> signature signature mocktails since we are still on the clock. But uh, this thing has <laughs> it has some. It's a spicy Moscow Mule's right what it tastes like. So well, cheers! Cheers to you. And this is the second year for this event. So tell us more about it. Yeah. So Geek Out Gala has been around really with the Carnegie Science Award. Wow. Right. For I love that. For 27 years. Yeah. Right. But this year we wanted to give the kids that we're you know giving the uh, science awards to really their own time to shine and really kind of create the Geek Out Gala really as a great party, yeah. a great event to help support the science education that goes on at the Science Center. So last year the awards were handed out then, mm -hmm. this year they will not be. So that'll be separated, right? Yeah, it'll be yeah. separated, but what we've done is we've partnered with, uh, we've partnered with the NO Fire uh, Awards. So those kids will be getting their awards next to adults that are also doing great work in science and technology. So you mentioned this is a really fun party and it's happening Thursday night. Give us all the details. Well, it, again, it is Thursday night, starts at seven o'clock and there's gonna be great food, terrific drinks like the one we are just trying here today. It's a great drink. Um, we're gonna have both great live entertainment. One of the things I love the most about this event is that it is the picturesque place in Pittsburgh to have an event. So we're gonna be on our canal level or our riverside level where you can see Point State Park from our, our, uh, our side of the building, the beautiful USS Raquin. And if, from my understanding, I think Mary said maybe the weather's supposed to be pretty good Thursday night. It's supposed night. to be a great week. So, yeah, we'll get all the details from her. Yeah, it'll be great. <laughs> well, and we have a couple of models here as well. So let's talk about it because attire is everything. When you're coming to the Geek Out Galo, you have to dress appropriately, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, so we're expecting everybody to come in their geeky, their geek chic finest. Geek chic finest. Geek chic. Like a star crown, you know? Yep. So, yeah, we have <laughs> lots of astronomy sort of inspired uh, outfits. Um, today, I'm just rocking my, uh, my Ravenclaw sort of pin, just being Perfect. nice and, you know, just muted. But tell us about some of the looks that we're seeing here on, on these two lovely ladies. Yeah, so again, we're rocking crowns, right? Love so it. Gabby's wearing this beautiful purple piece with this wonderful crown. Um, and then we've got, there we go, wear it with the blue. Again, just lots of geek chic kind of look. Love the, the, I mean, the boots, the boots are it. terrific. And the glitter and the sparkles on the face. So yeah, we, we ran out of sparkle glitter because I was going to actually glitter up. Perfect. But next time, though. Next time. Next always time. time for next time. And how does this event help the Science Center and some of the wonderful programming and events that you guys do? Yeah, that's a great question. So people that purchase tickets and support this event, which we have well, well over 400 people coming to this event right now, the proceeds for this event help support the science education really for some of our most vulnerable children in our community. Mm -hmm. Some of those folks that don't always have equitable access to science education. This event helps support, financially support those efforts. The Science Center sees over 200,000 students in our community every single year. So this is this goes to supporting that. And I know you guys do so much too with your summer camps over the, over the summer and various things that you're constantly trying to add to just to teach kids. Yeah, we're always doing new things. Um, we see over 2,500 summer campers every summer. Um, so it's always always to come check us out and see what we have going on. I know I already asked you, but there's another event that you have planned that's coming up in November too. So even the events keep coming. Oh, absolutely. We have a great astronomy event coming up in November. We have a Titanic themed 21 and a plus night in November. Ooh. So uh, there's always something new and exciting happening at the Science Center. Fantastic. Marcus, thank you so much for joining us. Now, am I allowed to keep the crown? Is this coming back? Y you should absolutely keep the crown. I don't know. You should. I Geek Out, Geek Chic, right? Well, the Geek Out Gala at the Carnegie Science Center is happening this Thursday. It's the party you don't want to miss. The VIP reception starts at 6 in the evening, and the party kicks off at 7. We're going to have more information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.